What is up, YouTube scrap gods? Today I am taking a load to the scrap yard here in Florida. I'm working on getting this motor out of here now. I'm gonna have to cut it off right there with a sawzall. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna find out some prices here in Florida on a bunch of different metal, see what they're sitting at, see how they compare to New Jersey. And also, if you guys know of any any scrap channels down here in Florida, please let me know because I don't know of any. I've never seen a scrap video take place in Florida on YouTube. I don't think ever. So yeah, please tell me what's up and let me know. But I got a pretty good load today. All this scrap, what's in here, and then these gutters. And then there's some fencing over there, but yeah, we're ready to hit it. Uh, I'm just gonna cut this off of here. I might strip the wire there and then load everything up. So there, I got a nice fat motor from that air conditioner. All right, load it up. Rolling out. Heading out offshore to the scrap yard. It is 11 miles from where I'm at right now. It's in Melbourne. Sarno Recycling is the name of it off of Sarno Road. It's, uh, we're on shore right now, Melbourne Beach, so we're heading to it for the fucking scrap gods. You, you. And before anyone starts putting negative comments, uh, I'm not in this to be making a ton of money. I'm um, in it to make a few dollars scrapping and to show the difference between scrapping in Florida and scrapping in New Jersey. I want to compare the prices. I know this isn't a huge haul. It's just a small scrap load and I just don't want people to think that I'm out here trying to make a living off of taking one load in a week of a $40 load in a whole week or whatever it's gonna be. So don't complain. Uh, if you're here to see the scrap prices here in Florida, and if you enjoy watching my videos, keep watching. If you're just going to sit here and watch the whole thing and then leave a negative comment, just go find something else to, else to watch. There's millions of videos on YouTube being uploaded every day. Uh, I just don't see the point in watching my videos if you don't like them, and then sitting there and commenting. Uh, but if that's what you want to do, that's fine with me. It gives me another view. But um, I just don't sit around and watch YouTube videos that I don't like. That's the bottom line. But yeah, for the rest of the people that are positive online, thank you so much, and just keep the scrap dreams alive, boys. All right, so we're in uh, offshore Melbourne now, uh, Melbourne. But uh, yeah, there's like downtown Melbourne over there, and then if you go this way, it's like uh, off to here. This is the Indian River, and then across there, all the way across is onshore Melbourne or Beachside, is what they call it. So I just got fucking so smoked, boys. The web, Google fucking smoked me. The website claims. Ah, oh, fucking A, boys, fucking A. Google claimed that they were open Saturdays until 4.45. I just got smoked by Google because they are only open Monday through Friday. So I just drove about 10 miles just for fun pretty much, but uh, yeah, you live, you learn, I guess. Um, but this scrapyard looks pretty sick, and I guess I'm going to wait until Monday and then come back. So that's just the real deal, I guess, boys. That's, it is what it is. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. You got to just keep your head up, but yeah. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of this scrap yard right here, pull over and just get a shot real quick. Look at all that. All right, I'm now with a different lens on so I can check out the scrap. So that's the scrap yard in there. And that's all the pile right there. That's the light iron. And uh, yeah, we're coming back. It ain't over until I win. All right, so Google straight up. I don't know if you guys can see this. 
is lying to me. Open today, 8 to 4.45. This is where I just was and I just called to make sure and they are not open. So, don't always trust Google. Call before you go, I guess, is the moral of the story. But, uh, I guess, either way, I got a nice little biscuit from Mickey D's, so I'm pumped up about it. Musty Harry style. For the boys. This is a crispy biscuit too, boys. Like, sometimes they have them soggy, but this is crispy. Look at this shit. Since I'm here, I'm gonna check out this antique mall. This is a big ass place, so huge thrifting around here, a lot of thrifting. This is huge. Major mall. Yo, this thing's fast. This thing's fucking balls. How's the tranny slipping on this? There ain't no slipping. Just a little power steering leak, that's all. All right, so one of my subscribers on the Scrap Life, his name's Jason Hino Hosa. I think it's how you say his last name, wanted me to make him a custom t-shirt. So I said, yeah, why not? and then I was going to send it to him but now his girlfriend lives about 45 minutes away from here and she's bringing the shirt and paint for me to make for the boy and she should show up here any minute I don't know and then I'm going to make it and give it to her and then she's going to send it to him I guess but for the boys how's it going? <laughs> what's up was that a far drive? uh well the way the GPS took me up what is the claim? Oh my god, are you recording? Yeah. Oh my god. That's the whole point, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so this is your boyfriend, Jason, right? Okay, she brought a shirt for me to paint for one of the YouTube subscribers on my channel. And she doesn't even know what he wants, so I guess we're just going to go go for it and just paint whatever we can think of. I'm going to put Scrap Life on there, though. I got the stencils laid out. <laughs> Put scrap life? No, record. Oh uh, yeah, that's the whole point. FaceTime from the legend. <laughs> Dude, bring it in here a little so I can see it. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Dude, for the boys. What are you claiming? Scrap <laughs> life. Forever, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Alright, this guy's got his fucking custom tea. Are you threatening me? And for the boys, this is what he wanted written on there. He wanted it signed. And then the other side is just scrap life. But, yeah, that's legendary. Gorgeous. The boy's checking out the, the Mel Beach all the way from Texas on his FaceTime. Yep. How nice is that, dude? Another day in paradise. <laughs> you gotta keep moving that dude. Dude, this guy's blowing up. He's already got fans on YouTube and he never even made one video. Yeah boy. <laughs> Yeah, you got fam though. Daddy. Daddy. Now you gotta put spank me above it. <laughs> Are you threatening me? Are you threatening me? <laughs> <laughs> Peace, dude. Keep living the dream, dude. <laughs> Work on that cough, dude, that breathing. 
Yeah. We're trying. <laughs> All right. <laughs> got the shot, got the shirt, got the goods. All the way going to Texas from Florida. Ooh. All right, dude. <laughs> Keep living the dream, dude. All right, so we struck out at the first scrap yard. Came back, hooked up the boy with his shirt, and then his girl is taking it to him in Texas. And then we are, daddy's taking us to the scrap yard that actually is open, which is actually closer than the other one. So that's what we're doing now. About to hit the sash for the boys. Shit, in the different bends. Inside the building? Yeah, you're gonna come around here and then drive through this huge building. Do you think they get pissed about filming? I don't think they give a fuck, they just want your money. <laughs> They're not <getting> claiming. <laughs> this is a total dedication to the game to sit here and wait because if you think about it, time is money. Someone and else is scrapping their metal right now off the streets. And we're just sitting here waiting to make minor, <laughs> like you know, like dollars. 15 bucks. Like 15 bucks and we could be just sitting, sipping some coldies sitting at the house. <laughs> They got. They need some more workers. This scrap life is crazy out here, huh? Load it up. They got some stuff. Where they getting that from? God knows. He told me said he don't ride and look for it. So he just what he do is just just be riding by. I reckon when he cut your yards, what's up? Yes, sir. He pick the stuff up, man. He, he, he just keeps. He, keeps, he got keeps. more than me and you got put together in that truck. Did two trucks there, man? I know. That's what I thought. I thought. Cause you I know, scrapping. You I know. scrapping all the time down here? Who that me? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I'm retired, so I I goes out there and pick up stuff all the Cause time. I know they pick up the trash on Saturday in a lot of places, you know. So I yeah. figured they get out here early, you know. Uh, I just go out whenever I feel like it. Cause I'm retired. Some days I don't. I don't even mess with it. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, sir. And matter of fact, I'm going to sell my trailer now. We you know, getting right. I just talked to the guy a while ago. I'm going to sell him my trailer. Right now? Right now. Uh -huh. And I'm going to get my, I'm just going to use my truck. That's all. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. How much you going to get for the trailer? Fuck wild. It's just crazy. How long have we been here? Two fucking hours. <laughs> it's so crazy. I'm about to Uber my phone. <laughs> yeah, we just sat this line that goes back all the way back for t like an hour and a half. And we're still not even in the dojo yet. <laughs> in the sweat lodge. How good does it smell in there? It's... <laughs> my prednisone's gonna wear off before we even get in there. You took medicine just to go here? Yeah, and I didn't bring my EpiPen. <laughs> no, fucking... Got some cast iron up in here. Dude, look at the way they make... They, they manufacture these cans in here. For pulling out too much. See, this is a substation out of Cotton Cocoa, out of the big dump in Cocoa. Why is it inside? Because it's so fucking hot here, dude. You could never scrap life outside, right? They try it, but it's fucked. It's so hot. But look at like all that patio furniture. Yeah, but they're keeping that, like to sell it on the side. I mean, why wouldn't you just try to sell that and make it more box, you know? You think he's mad? Yeah. It's so bobcat in here. So that's the scale right there. That's so crazy. Back up. So we got an electric motor for 50 cents. How much for the pound though? Does 50 it say? Cents a, so one pound, wait. 50 cents a pound. That's high. Electric, 10, 10 uh, cents. No, that was cans. Sorry, cans, 50 cents a pound. We got 50 cents there. <laughs> and an electric motor, 12 cents a pound, $2.04. Yellow brass, $1.15 a pound, $2.30. Bear bright, $2.10 a pound. Actually, that's pretty sick. $2.10, of course. That's higher than New Jersey for Take that. Right. And then clean scrap iron. <laughs> Four cents, so we got nine dollars and twenty cents for all that shit, and then uh, the sheet metal, all that AC metal, sheet metal, thirty-five, aluminum, thirty-five right? cents a pound. Oh, maybe that's sheet aluminum. Yeah, sheet aluminum for thirty-five cents, eight dollars and seventy-five cents. So how much altogether? Twenty-four dollars and eighty-nine cents. 
So all the all the non-ferrous scrap here in Florida is, is higher priced, but the light iron's about three cents less a pound. So to be honest, if you have good metal, you're making more money here. Right? Because it's in high demand, I guess, right? Yeah, there's not a lot of people doing this stuff, but there's not a lot of shit around. Who the fuck would do this, though, for that? For two fucking hours? <laughs> not me. <laughs> you, you, $40. Dude, two more. gas station on fleek. They got so much gear in here. No fuck. Dude, the flavors of fucking shit they have in this gas station. Rob George was not kidding. Look at this. Perp. These are cargo shorts only, though. Oh my gosh. They need to stock up in, in long pants with all these. Well, dude, it's 100 degrees here, though. <laughs> <laughs> they got it, though, dude. They got it. <laughs>